So we thought we'd come down here and check out how the girls are going with their supers on. It hasn't been that long, I think it's only been about a month, so we're just seeing how they're going. The honey flow's slowed up quite a bit down here, so we'll just have a bit of a look and see what they're doing. Give me a loop. Is that a word, a loop? <laughs> So we've kicked, the, kicked up the shade idea to another level. We've got them on all these boxes here now as well. And same with the other crowd, because it seemed to work so good. Just sort of took the edge off a little bit. Obviously it's still pretty blooming hot, but at least this helps protect them a bit, gives them a bit. Because when you used to touch the lids, it was that jolly hot. And of course, you know, obviously there's a bit of wood and insulation and all the rest of it, but I just thought, well, this will give them a bit of shade. And it seems to help them and they don't, seem to be quite so stressed out or they're not hanging out the front of the boxes like they used to so that must be a good sign pop the head off and see what we can find this one or this one one of these were a bit more intense here we go let's have a bit of a look what we're doing so this is just the honey super so they're not real crazy up here but you can see they're working there fairly well See all the nectar here starting to fill out. These is obviously the finished honey here. These are all pretty full, but they're not um, capped off yet. So, and that side a bit more. So it's taking its time. Like it's not a real, real good time of year because it's bloody hot, it's crazy. But there's still a bit of wildflower. What I was really looking for though, is to see if they are still feeding. And a good sign about that is, see they've come across and they're still building some they're still building up some new honeycomb here, see? This is where they're working across. They're pretty blooming smart. They work across the work across the box, you know, frame at a time. And then these girls are making some new wax foundation. Like this is the stuff you put in. And that's them building some honeycomb storage. And if they're doing that, that usually means that there's still a flow. Because they'll just stop if, if there's no honey flow. If there's no more nectar coming in, they just go, ah, well, we don't need to build any more cells. I guess it's a bit like us mob, if we don't need any more um, houses, the building trade goes bankrupt. So they're all going along fairly steadily. Obviously it's not um, real fast here at the minute because it's sort of the end, well it's basically the middle of summer. But they're still finding something, as you can see they're still building a bit of new wax. The interesting thing is those, the bees that go and get the nectar are not the ones that put it in the frame. The bees come into the hive and they hand it, get, hand it to a different bee and that bee hands it to another bee until it dehydrates it a little bit and eventually they put the nectar in the in the frames and then then they sit it in there on the open until they fan it and it turns into honey so it's a fairly big exercise for get your toast honey on your toast of a morning think of these girls they're doing a good job just for you